Hey there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and I am back in PA, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate your likes and subscribes. Anybody who already has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. I have many different options. If you would like to enter to win a holiday giveaway package, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and commenting holiday. The package this week is a 15-minute uh, FaceTime as well as a bath cleansing ritual kit. It has everything in there you need to cleanse your energy, Scorpio. There is three baths in the kit, two 10-hour burn candles, white sage, as well as a prayer card, and I have meditated and prayed over this bath salt. <sighs> I hope everybody is doing well, vibing high, and living your best Thursday life. This is the Daily Tarot. This is a timeless message, Scorpio. I do just want to give everyone a heads up again that my readings may be a little later, an hour later, some days than I usually post as I will be going to the gym in the morning or uh, sleeping in to 5 a.m., this 4 a.m. is getting really hard for me because I do work with personal readings until 6 or 7 at night. And so I will be sleeping until 5 a.m. from here on out. I just had my baby Luna Tuna, my puppy, outside, and she's seen her first snow, and she was scared. She would not go off the porch. I had to coax her down off the porch, and she had to, uh, you know, check it out halfway. She had her, her head in the snow, half of her body under the porch. She was afraid. She is such a scaredy cat. She's so funny. Um, but I did finally get to get her outside in the snow. It was very cute to see. What can I do today to make a difference? What keeps you up at night? What makes you cringe when you think about it such that every ounce of you screams no more? Where can you create purpose out of pain? Today's soul action, make a difference in someone's life today, big or small, because all of it, 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 all of it makes a difference. Spirit is asking you to make a difference today, to remember that we are all connected. Hi, baby. We are all connected by a energy cord, Scorpio. Um, that, that homeless person down the block's energy affects yours and yours affects theirs, even if it is just staying in a higher vibration. So the people around you um, start to to want to heal and stay in a high vibe as well. If that is the only thing you can do today to make a difference, do it. I know for me, I'm working on having a nonprofit because it just it eats me up um, to know that most people here, especially in the United States, are one paycheck away from being, um, you know, homeless. If some tragedy happens, if some some medical tragedy, some personal tragedy happens, a lot of people uh, find themselves in positions where they just they they don't know what to do. So on top of the tragedy, on top of having to heal, they have to deal with life. And so I am starting a nonprofit for people who are dealing with tragedies and traumas or um, medical illnesses that have sat them down somewhere and not allowed them to work. I am really really working towards doing that I feel like we are not given a chance to heal in the and in, in the US especially well it's always go 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 work 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 everything's so expensive and nobody has time to sit down and actually do any healing especially after some tragedy or trauma if you lose a child here in the US and you don't have the vacation or the the sick time you get you know, a few days off and you're supposed to just go back to work and figure it out, figure out how you're going to heal and work at the same time. Now, some people use their work as healing, but a lot of people um, have a hard time functioning after some kind of trauma or tragedy. And that is what lights me up inside. Um, a, a lot of things do though. I feel there's a lot of injustices that need to be fixed, but I am one person and I will try my best to do what I can um, in my little way. Rooster, wake up call, rising, resurrection, ego, victory, awakening, sun energy. This is a very masculine energy. Don't let pride cloud your judgment and risk making the wrong choices. 
Spirit's asking you to not get, be in your ego, stand in your higher self about something. Some of you, um, you were in a hor horrible relationship and they left for another person. And when they left you for another person, you got in your ego. Yes, baby, you got your sea lion. I got her a, a toy from uh, um, Florida. Um, when they left you for another person, you got in your ego and you started to want to win them back. That's just one example of living in your ego. Divine vision here swift decision listen to your divine ideas and act on them when the time is right elegance love union and grace stay graceful under pressure don't let others ruffle your feathers I, it seems to me like whoever i'm channeling today um you're being guided to stay in your higher self here about a situation that may be coming up or may have just happened some of you uh, are dealing with a, a person that makes you feel all sorts of ways and they put you in your ego. You're being guided to handle them with grace, handle, uh, you know, whatever challenges you have that are coming up over the course of the next few days, Scorpio, with grace. Do not let anybody take you out your square. I, I try to look at it like this. When somebody does something to upset me or something happens or somebody is offensive or mean or whatever the case is, I will tell myself they, they, I will not give them that much power over me to fuck up my day. Nope. I, I literally say that. Nope. Nope. This person will not fuck my day up. I will not allow them to take me out of my, my high vibration. Absolutely not. Allowing somebody to uh, make you angry or sad or any type of way is giving them power over you. And when you start standing in your higher self and seeing that, it will allow you to deal with other people and their fuckery a lot better. Because remember, you can never control the way another person treats you. You can only control your reaction to it, Scorpio. Rising Crescent, it's time to set a new goal or dream a new dream. You don't have to leave your comfort zone. Just expand it. Ooh, Scorpio, the divine is asking you to set a new goal here. Dream a big dream, a new dream. There's change coming here for you. There's something really good about to happen, but it's going to require you to expand your comfort zone. Honor your ancestors. Learn how to connect to your ancestors so you may receive their guidance in your life. We've been getting this a lot. We've been being asked to connect with our ancestors. I know I am heeding the call. Although I am back in PA, I have one last day today off from um, personal readings because I need to get a lot of things straight up to date. And if you have emailed me, I'm, I will be returning those emails today. I do apologize, but it's been uh, really crazy with this trip I just took, which by the way, Oh, it was so beautiful. I actually cried uh, quite a bit when I left. I, I felt very emotional because my babies are just, they're so big. They're just, they're not babies anymore. It's making me emotional now. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, where's the time go, Scorp? I just, I love my kids so much. And to see them, they've grown into such beautiful young ladies. It makes me very happy, but also... Um, if you're an empty nester, you understand. Nevertheless, I've been really emotional uh, over the last few, um, yesterday and uh, this morning, thinking about my babies and how grown they are. Um, but I am going to do some kind of offering today to connect with my ancestors. A lot of you should join me. Untapped inner power, number 24. You are getting ready to experience great power from within a lot of you have untapped power that you're not even seeing that you don't even realize how strong you are um that it's a cliche you never know how strong you are until you have to or um god only gives i i, I used to hear that one all the time god only gives his hardest challenges to his strongest warriors and well when you're going through a hard time it can you can want to just scream when you're constantly hearing that um and and feel like, you know what, I'm done with challenges. I'm tired of being strong. I don't want to be a strong warrior. A lot of you feel that way right now, but you have a lot of untapped potential inside just dying to come out. Something could happen in 24 days, Scorpio. You could be 24. Somebody in your life could be 24. It's really standing out to me. Divine timing. 
as well as inner dialogue. In order for things around you to change, you must first change your inner dialogue. Number 31, Scorpio, nothing changes until something changes, and that change has got to be you, my friend. And let me tell you, if if something happens to come into your life that's really good, but you have a, a poor inner dialogue where you never believe in yourself or you're constantly looking for the problem or constantly focused on the issue, what are you doing, baby Luna? Do you got something you're not supposed to? Um, and it, it, you will, it, it, it will not feel like a blessing. It will not feel as good as it could if you were to work on your inner dialogue. Good things happen, bad things happen, but life is about perception. If you don't start learning how to change that inner dialogue, Scorpio, you will always find yourself feeling like uh, irritated and, and, un, you know, and unhappy. Divine timing. What you are working on now is divinely guided. Amen, spirit. A lot of you feel like you are being divinely guided like myself. I'm being divinely guided to um, take Scorpio Priestess in a uh, to another level. Scorpio Priestess 2.0, baby. There's a lot of things that I am bringing and introducing in January. Um, a lot of you feel like you're being divinely guided as well. Heart opening number 41. You could be 40. You could be 41. Someone you know, it may even be you, is withholding love and creating a very emotionally painful experience for everyone involved. Oh, bless your heart, baby. This is why your inner dialogue seems to be not the, you know, the greatest. This is why you're being asked to stay graceful under pressure. To know that you have a lot of untapped potential because somebody around you is holding back love or making things very difficult for you. Supernova, an aspect of your personality, ego self, must die to make way for a new shiny star to be born. Scorpio, you need to let go of your ego. A lot of you are in your ego right now, wanting to win, feeling triggered, feeling like you're not enough, feeling like, um, how could they choose this person? I'm so much better than them. Or uh, I've, I've said that. I've been there. I've asked um, myself and a person, are you fucking kidding me? I have felt that way. But the truth is, Scorpio, we all make the decisions that we make for for ourselves. And if somebody feels that another person is is what's best for them, who are you to tell them it's not? That's just one example. Some of you may feel some types of ways like um, people around you at work are getting more. Uh, what is this? What is this spirit? High priestess energy, death. It has to do with some kind of um, uh, ending. Some of you may have lost a job or uh, went through a breakup with a lover because there is a lot of secrets your intuitions telling you something your intuition could be telling you that you're going through an ego death sometimes we are given such embarrassing circumstances that that it, it puts us through an ego death you'll find yourself you know not giving a fuck anymore about what people think you'll find yourself not needing to look a certain way around certain people you'll be able to handle things a lot better a lot of you are being put through a ego death here scorpio because there was a situation that was incredibly embarrassing for you or made you feel you know all sorts of ways what is this person here holding back love heart opening please from scorpio what is heart opening um, I feel like a lot of you are going through an ego death right now, and it's important to know that that you, um, on the other side of this, Scorp, you're going to be able to handle things in a much better way because you, you're you not going to care anymore what others think. Queen of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Some of you could have found out a lover ha was already married or in a connection. Um, it's made you incredibly confused. Others, there's something going on with someone you were in a relationship with and communication. They could have blocked you. They could be not communicating with you, telling you that they don't know what they want. You could be dealing with an air sign or an earth sign, a Pisces or a Scorpio. 
They don't know what they want. They're not communicating. They're confused. Something went very fast. There was a breakup that just hit you like a ton of bricks. You knew you were having issues, but you never thought they were going to do what they did. And it's put you in an ego death. Oh, sweetheart, it's not easy. It really isn't. Please put prayer in the comment section and I will pray for you to be able to see your way out the other side of this. So I'm so sorry. Luna is chewing on the pop plastic on the bottom of my chair. That's why I still have this old chair because um, she... It, it, I can't stop her. I've tried many times <laughs> and it's just the plastic on the bottom. So I have just allowed her to continue to do it. I feel for some of you, you're coming out of a place where um, you didn't think you would ever be able to, you, you thought you were dying. You were in that much pain is what I'm hearing, but you are, are really drawing on this untapped inner power. You're really drawing on this personal power that you have inside Scorpio. Now let's move on to money, please, spirit. What are the money messages for my babies today? Here, my strong, graceful, beautiful Scorpios. Celebration, leadership, unseen, and mistakes. Some of you, you may have made a mistake where you lost a job or something happened with your money that put you in an ego death. Maybe you, you made a bad investment and you told everybody about it and then you made this bad investment and had to go back and say, I have egg on my face, I made a bad choice. That can be really difficult and put you through an ego death. Mistakes will be made, but you will learn from them. Bridge the gaps between expectations and reality. Past mistakes left you financially insecure and you keep getting stuck. Some of you are getting stuck in a, a bad mindset. You're not able to get out of this rut you're in with your money and your finances because of inner dialogue, because you are not, um, you, you feel like you're a loser or you're incapable or you're never going to be able to get out of debt or you're never going to be able to get out of poverty. Just saying those things are keeping you in poverty, Scorpio. It's important to remember that our thoughts, our words create our reality. So if you are speaking lack on your life or speaking down about yourself, it's time to change that you're stepping into a leadership position you are ready you're following the crowd in fear of putting yourself out there some of you want to do something outside the box you want to step into this position that you feel you're being divinely guided to do but you're afraid of what others may say about you family friends etc some of you are leaders and you haven't tapped into that yet there will be celebration in relation to your work. As you see more success, don't use it as an excuse to stop having fun. You're burned out from work and you need a little more fun. Amen. A lot of you need to enjoy yourself. Raise your vibration here. There's nothing you need to change other than your inner dialogue and raising your vibration. And you're going to see so much, uh, so much of a difference in your money and finance. Though you don't see it now, there is something better. Sometimes you need to wonder to understand the clarity that follows. You stop learning and you stop growing when you assume you know it all. The unseen. There's something unseen happening around you, Scorpio. There could be something that's coming in that what is celebration that that will be a cause for celebration in your money and your finance, but you don't see it coming. Three of Pentacles here, Scorpio, something that you're going to want to collab with someone, a new idea. Four of Wands in reverse. Some of you aren't seeing this celebration because you're going through a divorce or a breakup. The star, baby, the star. Stop the reading. Make a wish. Close your eyes. They don't know why I'm feeling guided. And make a wish, Scorpio. There's something coming in for you, and it's going to be cause for celebration. Right now, you may not be feeling the greatest, but soon, my friend, healing and celebration will come because you are manifesting this. You're almost there. Nine of Wands energy. You're at the finish line. The Magician and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. A lot of you are going through a divorce and a breakup, so it's lowered your vibration. This person is creating very painful experiences for y'all, for everyone around you, you, the kids, everybody. 
and and you're not seeing the beauty that's about to come into your life because you're just so wounded nine of wands you're just so beat up from this person but scorpio your thoughts are always creating your reality magician energy honey you are always creating the 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 life you have right now is a a direct result of you your thoughts, your actions, your decisions. Now, I'm not saying that tragedy and trauma doesn't happen and, 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 or, you know, you can't be given a hard circumstance because that, that's not what I mean. But for a lot of you, you knew this person wasn't the greatest, but you continued to proceed in a relationship with them, or you knew something wasn't right with them and you closed your eyes to it. I've been there. A lot of you already knew what, what was going on. You just didn't want to see it at the time. I feel for some of you, you're going through a very extensive healing process where you're going to come out the other side here, Scorpio, in your love, in your money, a brand new person. Um, there's going to be celebration and blessings coming for you when it comes to your money. You're stepping into a leadership position. But you just have to deal with some of this uh, pain first. Moving on to love. Oh, God be with us, spirit. Give us a good love message today. Some of, A lot of you could have been with a person that um, was very wealthy or had some kind of status. By the way, there's something about status and wealth that, that is standing out to me that my guides are, are telling me. This person may have sold their self out for money. Or sold their self out to be with somebody else because of money, Scorpio. Knowing the path, aligning with your purpose, ex accepting your story. Want, want you to themselves, attachment and fear of losing you. Emotional and mental clarity here. Secrets coming to light. Breakup, suffering, grieving, can't move on. Um, there seems to be you here suffering, unable to move on. There's somebody that wants you to their self, but they don't want to give you what you deserve, what you desire. They just want to rush in and out of your life all the time. Tell me how the person on Scorpio's mind is feeling. Yeah, a lot of lessons learned here. Um, uh, raising, raising your vibration. Um, cutting ties in separation. Cutting their losses. But again, abundance, financial blessings. Somebody here is dealing with somebody who has a lot of money and status. And this person thinks that they can just do whatever the fuck it is they please to you and you're gonna be there they seem to have felt like they had to leave before it got worse some of you could have been fighting arguing you know hands being put on one another they're very uh, hot and cold and inconsistent there was lack of consistency with this person refusing to change stubborn and flexible both standing your ground um financial independence here healthy money pro perspectives some of you are dealing with somebody who is very wealthy. Others, you're the person who has a lot of financial wealth. And this person uh, is attracted to you. That's one of the things that they're attracted to about you. Tell me about this person on Scorpio's mind, please. Um, you're on the right track, Scorpio, no matter what. Even if you're just healing. Even if you haven't started dating. You haven't even started thinking about dating anybody new. And you're just healing. You are on the right track, sweetheart. Focus on yourself. Connect to your ancestors right now. Capricorn energy. Something could happen in Capricorn season. Rebuilding. Twin flame. Runner, bottom of the deck. This person may be um, your twin that you're dealing with. Time is ticking. Family ties. Victim mentality here. This person seems to feel like uh, things are moving really fast. Time is difficult to calculate, Kate, when, calculate when in union, but feels never ending when apart. Feels stuck. Has a negative attitude. Think life's against them. Having difficulty coping. Believing they have no control over things that happen to them and blame others this person seems to blame other people for uh you know their life for their problems they always pass blame they're in a very victim-like mindset they could have family ties to somebody else you could have family ties to them you could have children to this person starting over better than ever moving forward with hard work and communication being honest with one's feelings and aspirations for the connection this person seems to want to come in and talk to you about uh moving forward about rebuilding 
They know that things need to be changed. There needs to be something that is changed between the two of you. I just can't. I'm feeling hopeless and helpless. There is nothing that I can do. Life is what it is, and we just have to accept our circumstances. This is somebody who feels like they're stuck with a karmic or they're stuck in a uh, situation that they can't get out of. But Scorpio, meeting you may be changing this person and the way they feel, especially if this was a twin flame dynamic. Purpose <clears throat> to live life separately, learning lessons, possible reunion after becoming stronger and awakened, single soul split in half before reincarnating into two. A lot of you are dealing with your twin. You have sparked a lot of change inside of them. They've sparked a lot of change inside of you. Both of you here are trying to um, um, figure out your life's purpose or figure out what, what, this, what this thing called life is all about. This person seems to have been feeling like a victim, feeling helpless in their circumstances. They may have told you that or they may have ghosted. Dark night of the soul, you see? They're going through a dark night of the soul. You're going through a dark night of the soul. Both of you seem to be going through a lot here. Enhanced awareness of identity, an extremely difficult and painful period. Personal development of oneself. Scorp, you're just going through a dark night right now, baby. That's all. You're just having a hard time because you are um, awakening to higher uh, vibrations. You're realizing a lot about yourself. You're becoming more self-aware. You're becoming, you're, you're working on becoming your best self. You're going through an ego death. This person is as well, and you are about to have a major glow up if you haven't already got here. Some of you are a little ahead of this timeline where this person ghosted, put you into a dark night of the soul, um, and you are now going through your glow up. Others, this could have just happened, and you're still um, struggling a bit, unable to confront feelings or what they want, wants to avoid conflicts and explanation convenient to run instead of facing their person's reaction that's what they did i'm sorry i had to run but i couldn't tell you how i felt because i don't even know how i feel it was easier for me to walk away instead of having to explain myself if this person cut communication without talking to you without telling you anything without giving you any real exp explanation it is because you've put them into a dark night of the soul and they were in this victim mentality where they felt stuck in their circumstances. They felt stuck like there was nothing they could do to change. And so they've decided to cut communication with you why they figure this out. Um, they're going through a very painful um, and difficult period as well. I'm fighting my demons and re-examining my actions. It is life-altering and also extremely painful. At times, I fight against the changes, but I know it must happen for me to evolve. Period. This describes what's going on right now perfectly. This person has been in this fucking victim mentality, not wanting to face their problems, not even with just you, Scorpio. This person hasn't wanted to face anything. They, they, they've, they've blamed, they've ran, they've, they've just completely and totally passed blame on everything and everyone around them about their life or about their fuck ups. And now they're starting to finally examine them, overcoming illness or negativity, feeling confident, being on the right path in life, connecting with others, positive vibes and a new phase in life hallelujah 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 because if you are not quite here yet this is where you're moving into scorpio accepting whatever has happened here between you and this person for some of you you will never connect with this person in this lifetime but you have changed them tremendously and they have changed you tremendously scorpio and and that is it will not be left unnoticed from the divine um and and you know that you have something special with this person and that's all that matters is you know you know why you went through this dark night or why they're going through this dark night of the soul it was you and your beautiful transformational energy 
You were destined to meet a strong, unbreakable, unbreakable bond, passionate love and strong desire, deep inner knowing of a divine connection. You see, there was something I was feeling guided to say about this. A lot of you need to know that you know, you know that this is a divine connection and that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if your sister knows, if, if they even ever acknowledge it, you know in your heart because you are very connected to yourself, Scorpio, and your guides and your ancestors. What does this person have to say for their self spirit? What do they have to say, please? Rebound unsent messages i've i've written several messages but in the end i chicken out i've never missed anyone in my life as much as i miss you scorpio i just need someone to help me get over the pain of losing you this is somebody who just tries to fuck their way out of uh, out of trouble they try to uh over you know they try to connect with other people to push away the pain or push away whatever it is they're feeling there's no difference in, in drugs, being addicted to drugs and sex. It's just something this person seems to do. They rebound. They talk to people. They fill their self up. And it help, It feels. they feel like that's them moving on. Um, they're very small-minded in that way. Not understanding that even under someone new, they're still thinking about you. Because they haven't, you know, fully dealt with all of these issues. I feel like this person is going to, um, they feel like time is ticking. I hope that they don't prematurely reach out or prematurely try to reconnect with you, Scorp, because uh, this is a situation where this person has got to continue going through this dark night of the soul. Tell me about ghosted here. Tell me about this person ghosting. Why did they cut communication spirit? Queen of Cups, they could have been dealing with another water sign. Ace of Cups, for some of you, this person meant somebody new. And Five of Cups, wow, they could be another water sign. This person is so regretful for whatever they did. They seem to have possibly meant somebody new, Scorpio, and decided to ghost you. Things may have been bad between the two of you. Things may have gotten hard and they've just decided to rebound. They didn't want to deal with anything. And so they've cut communication with you. They didn't want to be held accountable for some. For others, this person has family ties to a karmic that they went back to. They ghosted you because of the karmic. The karmic wanted them to cut communication with you or, or something. They could have been rebuilding with this karmic. Tell me about this. For some of you, this person went back to try to rebuild their marriage or their relationship. Definitely. The full here, a brand new fresh start here. That's what they thought they were doing. Um, that, but they had a hard, they're having a hard time moving forward from you. They thought they could to a cups, um, ace of wands. It, I mean, ace of wands, eight of wands. It happened very quickly too. A lot of you didn't even realize this person was talking to, um, whoever this karmic is. You didn't realize that they were doing what they were doing. They, they meant somebody new or they went back to a third party and it happened so fast. Bam, it was really quick. This could be an Aquarius or a fire sign. Tell me, what does this person plan to do next, please? They seem to um, have fear of losing you, Scorpio, but they're not budging. They're so stubborn. They're so, this person could be in their ego. Wow, yes, they are. Devil energy here. Where did that card go? I hope it didn't go down there. Maybe it didn't pop out at all. Did you guys see it? I bet you did. I wish you could tell me. I don't know. This person, my God, they're strategically trying to do something. Seven of Swords and the Devil. They are in their ego big time. This definitely could be a Capricorn or something could happen in Capricorn season. But this person is, is trying to sneak away like a thief in the fucking night from a karmic. That's what I, I see here. This person is trying to sneak away from somebody else now. Tell me about Dark Knight of the Soul, please. They could feel like they're drowning, like they need help. Um, this was definitely some kind of past life relationship. This person could be having past life dreams was a message I was getting. They breadcrumbed you. They were really immature. Um, they may have fell off not even seeing their children or something about childhood here that, that this person's reliving. 
I feel like this person has had a very rough life. I feel like um, judgment, they're going to make a judgment call, but there's seven of cups, very confused, four of wands about who they want to settle down with and have a long-term relationship with or who they want to be married to. This person knows that you are their twin. They know that this is a divine connection. They're not, you know, they, they've been getting downloads from the divine. They may be acting like they don't, but I recognize our connection was intense and it still burns my soul. It's a connection that I, can never be broken, but it is one that must be balanced in order to move forward together. This person is understanding that there's something different about your relationship. You're still burning on their soul. But they're just being very um, immature at times. They're, they're uh, again, emotionally painful experiences is what this person is putting you through. They're trying to decide what they want. They're trying to decide they're going to make a judgment call soon. This person could be a Sag. They're trying to um, decide who it is they want to have a long-term relationship with or live with, etc., they have not made up their mind yet. It seems to me like they are still going through this dark night of the soul. And Scorpio, you've got to give them space to do that. If this person allows themselves to heal, allows themselves to go through um, this dark night, <clears throat> they will be better for it. And you may be able to then uh, rebuild. They're focusing on work right now. Uh, I, I've been keeping myself busy with work, improving my finances dying love don't lose hope you see this person ha is starting to get afraid that it's too late they're afraid that there's competition for you now i get intimidated and nervous knowing you get so much attention i'm trying to remain hopeful but i feel you slipping away they they feel like you're starting to slip away um so they they, they got to make some kind of decision they got to make some kind of move or you're going to be gone I would be careful if they come back in in this kind of vibration. It may be hard for you to actually build or to heal anything, Scorp. They need to finish this dark night of the soul first. I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed Thursday. Today is going to be the best Thursday of our life. Scorpio, today is the best Thursday we have ever had. Love and light.